Okay, welcome back. This is lesson 17. In lesson 17, we're just going to do a quick example in doing uh, additions in array, meaning that we are going to add elements into the array. So we're going to declare an array, and then we're going to add to it a couple of elements in the start of the array and a couple at the end as well. Now, in here, we're going to actually introduce uh, a couple of other HTML tags. After I finish the PHP course, I'm, I am going to start a HTML course. Maybe I should have started it in a uh, bit before I did PHP, but anyway, this is how it went. So I'm going to do PHP first. We, we're jumping into the deep end, and then I'm going to do backtrack a bit and go to HTML and just take you through all the, the, the tags in HTML as well. So anyway, we're, we're familiar with the HTML tag at the top. The, uh, starting up the HTML uh, page, and we do a head. We start the, the, the title tags like so. And here I'm giving the title "Add Array Elements," which is going to appear at the top of the browser. We close off the head section, and we start the body. Now we have here OL. OL basically is like a bullet point, okay? But by default, OL would give us a, a numbering a bullet point. So it would have one, two, three, and it would bullet point. Okay. Every time we start a new uh, point, okay, we use something called an LI. So you'll notice here I've got LI tag. Whoops, I've moved it accidentally. I'm going to move it back in there. Here we go. So you've got the LI here, and we will close the tag. When we finish with the line, we 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 add another uh, HTML tag, but obviously with the backslash when you close the tag, just like we do with all the other HTML tags. So anyway, we're gonna go into the PHP now. So we go to PHP. I'm not gonna use PHP in front of the PHP tag, and we do a comment here, and we're saying create an array containing three strings okay that's obviously like I said with comments that's ignored by the interpreter next we define a variable type uh, a variable called ARR and obviously we know it's a variable because it has the dollar in front of it and basically that's going to be an array and it's going to hold three elements so we're holding red green and blue next what we're doing I've put, made another comment here and we're saying add elements at the beginning of the array. So what we're going to do, we're going to add in the beginning. Now we use a function called array underscore unshift. Okay, unshift basically uh, is a function which is uh, available in PHP, allows you to add elements in the beginning of uh, the array automatically. So what we do, that function takes first of all the name of the variable, so arr, which is the name of the variable and it, we're assigning two elements so after it we can put the, the elements that we want to add in the beginning of the array so here we put um, whoops I've moved it again put it here and we're here we're saying insert into that uh, cyan and magenta okay and I can actually add another one as well just to give you another bit more illustration on what it can do what we're going to do, what color should we put? Um, we've got the green, we've got blue, we've got red, we've got cyan, magenta, yellow, black, uh, pink. How to try pink, yeah? Let's do pink, yeah. So, here yeah, we added another element there. So, here we're adding three elements in the beginning. And then the next line, I've got another comment, and I'm saying add element at the end of the array. Now, to add elements at the end of the array, we use another function called array push. There is other ways you could do this, but these functions are available for us to use, so why not use them? So here you go, array underscore push adds elements at the end of the array. What it, do it does, it takes the argument, the name of the array, which is ARR again, and we put in the element yellow and black at the end. Okay, next we're going to use something called a for each loop. For each is like a for loop, but what it does, it basically um, basically, instead of actually using the counter and uh, you know, you know, declaring a variable called i and then saying i equals one and then 
every time increment i by you know increment by one until it just keeps going up going round it this one for each basically goes through the array and we don't need to know the size of the array for each will find it out and it will just keep going until it finishes all the elements in the array so here we're saying it's taking the argument array as dollar value so it will take the value which is what is in here and it will keep taking the value in here and printing it off okay and every time it takes the element in and it prints it off yeah and that's all it's going to do it's got, every time it echoes a new line with the li in front that means it's going to put a number it's going to put one and then it goes round again it's going to make two three and it just keeps going every time it starts a new line it will increment the bullet by an, an additional one so it would number it one two three four five six and it will just keep going until it finishes all the elements so how many elements do we have in total now we've got one two three four five six seven eight so in total it should give us eight times the echo echo should be echoed eight times once we finish with that we close off the PHP with the tag here and we close off the um, bullet tag with the OL tag we we'll close it off and we we'll close off the body and then we we'll close off the HTML so let's see it running okay so I'm just gonna copy this and save it in lesson 17 save here and I'm gonna go to global space okay you notice we've got 17 here we're just gonna move it across to here okay so it's gonna overwrite there's one thing I forgot to do which is save it as PHP now because I didn't save it as PHP okay so there's another way of doing this instead of saving it and then transferring it I can right click on the mouse and then click on rename and then simply add .php at the end and press enter where is it so we got we changed the file name lesson17.php that's changed I'm gonna edit it now here click edit see it inside QTFTP see what it looks like okay so that's the file that we wrote and now we're gonna test it in the browser it's called lesson 17 let me change that first put Yumacom to lesson 16 so let's go to lesson 16 open up the browser and then just change that to 17 up there and press enter it says access forbidden I've changed the go back, back go down to Yumacom.com and just change the attributes to execute and read apply okay so that's done now it should allow us to fresh here we go so it says do you like cyan magenta pink red green blue yellow black so it listed all them and that's what I mean by a bullet point it it just starts one two three four five six seven eight okay so it does that every time we put an li in the front but to start this off we need to put an ol in the beginning so open the ol tag to start off the the line indentation and numbering 